Hey folks, tonight we're going to be working with Nectar Aura, Logic Pro 10, or Logic Pro X as some people call it, and Cloud Supply. Last video in the Cloud Supply series. So, since it's so late at night and people have to go to school and work in the morning, I'm going to be wearing headphones, something I hate doing, but nevertheless, it's necessary. So, let's get into it. Yo, G, bless him, bless him, bless him. Yes, these are some pretty big headphones that I have on my head right now. Um, these are made by uh, Aventone. I think that's how you pronounce it. As you can see, the headphones match the monitor. These are supposed to emulate the sound of these. Plus, they have three, two other settings to where you can do cheap speakers mono speakers and then of course stereo speakers which sound really really good kind of like beats so we're going to set that to the stereo tonight and let's get started here so if you look at the screen i've already pulled up an instance of cloud supply inside of contact because it's how you have to run it inside of um, logic pro 10 and the cool thing is we can actually use uh, Scalar inside of Logic Pro 10. Uh, also, if you'll notice, my Logic Pro 10 has a really different color. This is the LPX colorizer I'm using. Um, if you want this color scheme in Logic Pro 10, um, this is the free version. They have plenty of, um, they have, if you buy the paid version, they have plenty of other templates you can use to make Logic Pro 10 look a lot more, you know, dope or whatever. And this is the free one. I actually like it. It's pretty, it's pretty smooth looking. But I, you know, using Logic Pro 10, it opens up a lot more options as far as what you can do because you can load uh, contact up with cloud supply in it and then of course you can load scalar into the MIDI effects and so rather than doing what you have to do on machine you know uh, find player get your chord progression and then go back and select the sound later which is the reason why I didn't use uh, cloud supply in scalar in machina but in logic man you can go there's so many different things you can do um, even with the drums we're going to see, but for, for the most part, this video, I just want to quickly show you how dope Cloud Supply can be used with um, with other DAWs other than Machino or Complete Control. So, like I said, once, you know, I got Scalar loaded in here. I've already got me a chord progression. I've already got me a um, chord progression here um i chose i think it was frequency uh number one and this is kind of what we got progression sounds really really dope especially with that cloud supply um this is hazard i have in here which i may try some other sounds later on but i'm gonna go ahead and stick with this and i think what we're gonna do we're gonna try to lay that particular chord progression down let me see something here
Let's change that up just a little bit. Okay, so what I'm, I've done, I've recorded two instances of uh, cloud supply. I have um, almost like a string pad, and then I have like um, a melody. But what I'm doing is I'm freezing them so we can save some of that CPU, and then we can maybe put some drums in this thing and just kind of get it done real quick, right? So that goes to show you once again, I have an older MacBook Pro. Like I said, once I installed Catalina, everything started kind of running a lot slower when everything got moved with the 64 bit but nevertheless i still say these cloud supply um these cloud supplies and these lo-fi glow plugins i know the same thing with it but it even on my pc they're pretty power hungry so you better have a, a, a at least a decent cpu if you're going to run these cloud supply instruments or these play instruments but uh nevertheless still love it In case you didn't know, the step sequencer in Step Sequence in Logic Pro X is crazy. It's pretty dope.
Okay, so we're back. I kind of sung this up just a little bit with just a really rough mix. But once again, just want to show you that Cloud Supply works really well in other DAWs and probably even better than it does inside of Machina and Complete Control. Because especially when you start dealing with Logic Pro 10 and the fact that you can use uh, Scalar and come up with some, I mean, you got all of these dope chord progressions and uh, performance modes like I have uh, used on these particular two sounds and basically man you get a chord progression back it up with a little bit of a pad you have a beat just that quick with two elements and nothing but a beat now if I was making this without doing this video I would definitely put more elements in this um, but tonight I think this is enough I think you're gonna get the idea and just show you just how dope this thing is so that's my time until the next video keep grinding keep inspiring more videos to come peace